All right, there you have it. The Smash review of the 3DS. My God, it took forever. All right, time to go record it. You know, let me check out the Kingdom Hearts finish first. Is it finally happening? Sorry, Smash, you gotta wait till tomorrow. Gotta make a video on this! So many chains! Whatever. Yeah, I'm burning. I'd rather give this to you. Anyways, I was going to upload the Super Smash Bros. for 3DS review. Yeah, I know. Very late, but I still want to be able to get my thoughts out on that game. We'll see it in the next couple of days. But Twitter, Kingdom Hearts, recently Square Enix left this tweet of a Square Enix member looking off to the distance with a Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix jacket that I want sale sale for sale with a jacket looking over at the Disney Castle in Disney World Disneyland Magic Kingdom one of those uh, forgot to write that down but uh, one of those places but a Disney theme park all right and yo they said they have a big special secret project going on for this what could that be? Because for the longest, everyone, all Kingdom Hearts fans, were dying and pleading for Disney to recognize uh, Kingdom Hearts within their uh, theme parks. To have some sort of Kingdom Hearts themed thing within the Disney theme parks. They want to want them to acknowledge uh, Kingdom Hearts as a part of themselves, you know? But I've gone and theorized lots of possibilities that um, a lot of people consider Kingdom Hearts to be part of Disney. I consider the other way I, I consider Disney a part of Kingdom Hearts and that's why in turn this whole legal and you know affiliation bullshit blah 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 but it seems that we may have some sort of integration of Kingdom Hearts within the Disney theme parks now for the longest for a couple of years now there was this uh, group going on called Project Magic Kingdom where they would take a bunch of Kingdom Hearts cosplayers a bunch of Kingdom Hearts lovers and just you know Go to the Disney theme parks, Disney World, Disneyland, they'll just bombard Disney World or Disneyland and you know, have and be dressed up in Kingdom Hearts attire and stuff and you know, try to show uh, Disney World or Disneyland, it's like, hey, you know, Kingdom Hearts, we're part of you guys too, you know, and have that integration. But it seems that Square Enix is doing something relating to Disney World or Disneyland or the Disney theme parks. Now, one thing I do like to mention that I want to point out is that we see the guy wearing a Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix um, jacket. Now this could be two things. This means that it might, whatever they're planning, is directly tied to Kingdom Hearts 2.5 remix, specifically that game, or he's just wearing it for promotional reasons because that's the thing that's going on right now. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 remix. That's the game that they're releasing right now. That's you know Kingdom Hearts, the, the big thing right now. So it can either be promotional reasons or that the big secret they're planning has to directly tie with that. But I'm willing to say the latter, I'm willing to say it's only for promotional reasons because, I mean, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix is already out in Japan, and if they were going to do a super secret project tied to the game, they probably would have done it before the game released anywhere, but that's my take on it. Now, <coughs> oh god, fuck I'm going to boot that out, sorry. Uh, <laughs> woo. Um, so, what is this big project? Now, a couple of things I can think it is. We may be getting a Kingdom Hearts attraction at the, you know, at, at the Disney theme parks. We may get more integration of Kingdom Hearts apparel, material, swag at the Disney theme parks. Because I swear, man, that's the one thing that Kingdom Hearts is lacking. In you know, wherever. It, like, for me, living down here in Florida, it's so hard to look for Kingdom Hearts stuff. Besides games at m malls or markets or stores and stuff, usually all the Kingdom Hearts stuff I buy is online, and you know, everyone's all like, "Yeah, online shopping is the way to go," but I'm like, instant gratification. So I mean, 
it's kind of hard for me. So I mean, if they're you know getting that ball going specifically at the Disney theme parks or wherever else, that's cool. Whatever. Maybe releasing Keyblades, actual legit Keyblades for sale, not the fucking third party bull crap that they sell at conventions that break in like two days. But whatever. Um. But I'm excited for this news. And what else could it be? Disney theme rides, Disney theme stores, Kingdom Hearts stores, Kingdom Hearts rides, Kingdom Hearts theme, Kingdom Hearts mascots. I don't know. Maybe a Destiny Islands area within the Disney park. <laughs> Take a picture with Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. He's like this big ass guardian in the back. Kids taking picture of him. I would totally do that. Oh my god. Uh, but we don't know what it is. We just have to wait. Time will tell. But this is some sort of like, this is the type of tantalizing news that I love. But Square Enix, yo, quit teasing us. Please tell us what this is. So, you know, can't really say much about that. So, if you like this video or any other video or the hectic news that I like to bring to you with the hype train, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help my channel grow and all that good jazz. And until the next Kingdom Hearts video, I've been HMK and I'll check you guys later. You know, with the whole paper ripping thing. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm gonna make like a montage of that. Nah. Will you make a montage of that? So I'll check you guys later.